Hey everybody, Michaela Vernava in the Nesson Studios, joined on the line by our sports analyst from Oddshark.com, John Campbell, aka Johnny Oddshark. Feel like I haven't said your old nickname in a while, John, but thanks for joining us ahead of Super Bowl 52, our New England Patriots heading out to Minnesota, of course. And I, the first thing I want to ask you is this line opened up with the Patriots fa favored by six and has now moved to four and a half. How come it's changed already? Well, it's moved down to four and a half at a couple of books. A lot of books are still at minus five and most are at that number. This is because of the early Eagles action coming in. A lot of early money is coming in on the Eagles. A lot of bettors felt that that line of plus six for Philadelphia was just too much. It's not a lot of sharp action either. It, it, there's a lot of big money out there, but it's a lot of recreational bettors, uh, which is what we normally see in the Super Bowl. It's also interesting that we're seeing a lot of really big bets in Las Vegas come in on the Eagles to win straight up on the money line. So the price has come way down for the Patriots to win straight up as well. So with the line as it stands at four and a half, how do you feel about that and which team would you go with? Well, I think four and a half is, is a truer line. I think this one was a little bit inflated because New England's been to the Super Bowl so many times, because they've covered the spread so many times over the last two seasons. They've actually covered more over the last two seasons than we've ever seen from any team in NFL history over a two-year period. So they cover a lot. They're good. They've been to the Super Bowl a lot. It's no surprise that the line came out a little bit inflated. I think this is a much truer line now with, with uh, the Patriots down to minus four and a half. I'm leaning to the Pats at that number. I, I, I think it's getting low. I, I think they do have the advantage in a few different areas. They just seem to be able to cover these spreads. They've covered 13 in a row now when they've been favored by seven points or fewer. So uh, they gobble up these smaller numbers and seem to cover these ones. So I, I'm leaning to New England. Now I'm also wondering with Rob Gronkowski on the injury report with a concussion, his status sort of up in the air and the, the nature of concussions being what they are, it's hard to predict whether he will or will not be ready to go on Super Bowl Sunday. But between that and just any other kind of unknown between now and then, do you see this line moving again because we still have over a week before the Super Bowl? Yeah, I do think it will move again. I'm actually a little bit surprised that it moved down below that five and a half. That kind of leaves books in a tough spot where you could take New England at minus four and a half. And if you got the Eagles at plus six, if, if New England wins by five in that scenario, sports books would lose both sides of the bet. So I didn't really think we would see the line get down below five, but, but here we are. Uh, there's actually a prop out there on Gronk, whether or not he'll, pre he'll play this game. And yes is minus 150, so you'd have to risk $150 to win 100 if you think he will play. I really think he will play. I think he'll be a huge impact in this game. I think this is one area where Philadelphia is going to struggle against New England. I think the Jags were one team that could cover Gronk, and they did that well. But I don't think the Eagles uh, are in the same spot there. I I'd say Gronk's worth maybe three, as much as three, to the point spread. I think oddsmakers would say that's a little high, but, but I think he's worth that much. All right, John. Well, as always, thank you for the great advice, and we will check in with you next week when we get closer to the game and see what's going on, see if you got the same advice or if anything's changed. But thanks for joining us this week. Thanks, Michaela. Should be fun.